The problem I'm going to solve with multi-class classification is classification of users' credit scores. And in this particular approach, we will use random forest. The goal is to classify users' credit score uh, by good, standard, or bad. Here you can see description of the source data. This uh, table contains a person credit related information. Here is the link and you can find it under the video and link for this notebook is under the video also. First, uh, we will load data and uh, try to analyze it before making any model. Here I made an, uh, a loop for iterate over all the fields and check how many unique values it has and which values it has. So for example, here you can see that our label uh, created score contains three possible values, good, standard, or poor. One of the most important steps is preparing features. The main idea here is to convert text fields into float fields and make one hot features from categorical features. So now uh, we can look at uh, our data. We don't have any objects or uh, strings anymore, which is good. And here is uh, our one hot features. So let's look at data distribution next. Uh, so for that, uh, I made a box plot of uh, our features uh, and it's clear that we have outliers. For removing outliers, we will be using interquartile range. Uh, here is uh, a picture from Wikipedia to explain what is interquartile range. We, we will keep only this data, only in this range. And everything else, which is here, these long tails, we will remove. So here is formula for that. And after we removed um, 15,000 of uh, 80,000 rows, which is a lot, but still okay. And now we can see a more clear picture of box plot. We can see distribution. Next, we make a relation matrix. I added a numeric score. If credit score is good, then it should be one. If it's poor, minus one, and for standard, it's zero. So now we can see a correlation credit score, which has high negative correlation with interest rate and positive correlation with credit history age. So it means uh, that the longer credit history age, uh, the better is credit score, which is logical and expected. Uh, and also we can see that a lot of features are correlated with each other, uh, which might be a problem. Yeah, but uh, we will use uh, random forest, as I say, and this is tree model. Uh, correlated features are not a big deal for tree models, so we can move, move forward. So, uh, next visualization is a pair plot. See here, color is a credit score, so it's blue for standard, orange for good, a green for poor. Moving to modeling. I started with a simple random forest model with max depth of 3. It is important to look at uh, recall precision, so other metrics except score. Here uh, we can see that uh, good class uh, have very, very bad precision. Uh, and it's probably because uh, we have less good labels than other other labels. So solution here might be uh, use class weight balanced. So it will be it will take more good and poor results instead of standards. So after I added balanced, we can see that as it, it became better. Um, but um, at the same time, we can see that recall dropped for good label, yeah, which is not good. And model, model, this model is underfit. Uh, so next step would be to iterate over max depth and check uh, 
which uh, which one shows best best result without overfit. And so here we can see that uh, here is train score and F1 score, and here is uh, test score and F1 score. So we can see that it model quickly showed 100% uh, score on train result, which means it overfit. And probably a good model here would be about with depth about 20. Uh, because test score growth until 20 and then it like slowly moves not and doesn't really uh, increase after that next uh, I tried to uh, to use grid search again with um, iterating over uh, different number of lift nodes and m different max depth and we can see that th the more depth and number of leaf nodes the better is modular which is expected but when if we try to use uh, huge parameters it it's not really became better it's it's about the same it's about uh, 0.76 so it's not becoming better but it became more complicated so it's better to use more simple model yeah so we, we can take best estimator with best score and check its results so um, uh, score 0.77 for, for in for our best model which is okay and we have good precision and uh, recall uh, and next we can uh, visualize a uh, rock curve and uh, a reander curve that helps us to understand our model deeper and understand nuances of the model so I made rock curve for every label uh, for good, bad and uh, standard and uh, also macro and micro average and here you can see it uh, here I made bar plot for showing feature importance and uh, we can see that the most important features are that and interest rate and delay uh, delay of payments so debt and delay which is expected and here is confusion matrix in this approach we used random forest for multi-class classification and matrix showed a good performance and now we have inf enough information to decide if we want to use this approach in production